we uh, went through an 18 month period of going from neighborhood to neighborhood, uh, talking to businesses, talking to community groups, talking to the Spanish speaking community, kids, and we asked people uh, what's most important to them, what they love about living in the Applegate, what they wish was different. And uh, the two issues that rose to the top in every conversation, every community, every place we went were fire safety and internet access. It's hard to understand how many gaps there are across the state, but the data really shows that. We have the state broadband office do a study that I, I brought a copy of this, released in January 2020, right before the pandemic. The data shows that in rural areas, 40% of Oregonians do not have internet faster than 10 months. That's very slow internet. That's 40% of people who either have no internet or very slow internet. In urban areas, and you might think it would be different there, I-5 corridors, Portland, huge gaps as well. At least 20% of people who aren't even achieving that 10-1. And that doesn't say anything about the future-ready Oregon that we know is going to be speeds five times that. So there are significant gaps because service is not available, or because it is not affordable, or because they simply don't know how to access the technologies. Then there's the digital equity piece of that, which is if you don't know what you're missing, how do you know how to get it? And some of the way we, we have helped with that at the library is we have Wi-Fi hotspots that you can check out and get internet access. If you have cellular service that we can piggyback on with that, we also have started doing cellular enabled tablets so you can get connected remotely. We spent the funds that we received through the state library through some of the ARPA funds. We purchased a van that we have tricked out with technology on it. It has a 300 foot radius Wi-Fi hotspot built into the van and we can take that throughout the county and bring Wi-Fi to areas that don't have it. We have used that at some of the mobile uh, FEMA sites for the wildfire recovery. We have gone to um, housing authority, places where people who live there may not have internet connection. And so we've tried to help bring digital equity to our communities by physically bringing the internet to where people are. The good news is that we'll be able to use what we know about the availability of broadband to really compete for billions, potentially, certainly hundreds of millions of dollars of federal funding.